Tinnitus affects over 50 million people worldwide, roughly twice the population of Texas. That hissing, ringing, static, and pulsing noise. Those noises in your ear that drive you insane. Your tinnitus could be caused by glutamate. Glutamate regulates communication between the brain's auditory centers and the inner hair cells of the cochlea. Excess glutamate is released when these hair cells are damaged by factors such as loud noise exposure. Too much glutamate opens neuronal sodium channels and prevents them from closing, causing neurons to fire indefinitely. This continued firing allows free radicals and inflammation to accumulate and worsen, affecting the mitochondria of those cells. This excess glutamate excites those nerves, affecting the cochlea and the transmission of the auditory nerve to the auditory center of the brain. Tinnitus is caused when the brain reads something that isn't there. As a result, we must prevent overstimulation so that the brain and inner ear can communicate normally. What is the solution? Gamma-aminobutyric acid, GABA. It is an amino acid and the primary inhibitory neurotransmitter in the brain. GABA stimulates the production of alpha brain waves. This will reduce anxiety, mood swings, and panic attacks, improve your sleep, and keep you relaxed so that tinnitus does not bother you. The typical GABA dosage is 750 mg taken on an empty stomach twice a day, in the morning and before going to bed. However, if you are taking medication for anxiety, stress, or depression, please consult your doctor before taking GABA. Before beginning any new medications, please consult with your healthcare provider. Also, be patient when taking GABA, it takes time. It may take several weeks to several months before you notice any changes. Please share this video with your friends, leave comments, and, most importantly, subscribe. Have a great day and see you in the next video. Do not stop taking any prescribed medications or treatments without consulting your doctor. The materials and the information contained on this channel are provided for general and educational purposes only and do not constitute any legal, medical or other professional advice on any subject matter.